The revelation left the entire internet reeling, an aftershock greater than the one experienced when Jada openly confessed to her affair with singer August Alsina. The circumstances have deteriorated since that bombshell, and according to Jada Smith, they have been in this tumultuous state since 2016. But one begs to wonder, why would Jada decide to publicize such sensitive and private matters? What exactly was the nature of Will Smith's reaction to these revelations that were now fodder for public scrutiny and discussion? In a recent expose, Jada Pinkett Smith sat down for an in-depth conversation during an NBC News primetime special hosted by Hoda Kotb. During this interview, Jada divulged a shocking revelation. They had been technically divorced since 2016 but hadn't made it legal. They chose to maintain a facade, a perfectly curated image of marital bliss, fooling the world but unable to deceive themselves. This revelation jolted everyone, spinning the public into a whirlwind of disbelief and bewilderment. However, that was just the prelude, as Jada was yet to unveil more startling revelations. She rationalized the delay in publicizing their separation, stating that they weren't ready yet, still navigating the murky waters of their dissolution and attempting to redefine their partnership. It was an odd revelation considering their 26 years together, a period long enough to foster understanding, yet here they were seemingly strangers to each other. The intricacies of their relationship remained enigmatic, but the truth, as it always does, was gradually unveiling itself. Jada was far from done. The interview morphed into a confessional, with Jada unveiling more intricate details of their marital woes. The internet was thrust into a tumultuous storm of reactions, as the perfect couple's imperfections came to light. Their decision to part ways in 2016, just two years after J. Cole released No Role Models, was, to many, a narrative embroidered with irony and ill timing. The pressing question, hanging heavy in the air, was the ambiguity surrounding their divorce, or the lack thereof. The world knew of their internal agreement to split since 2016, so why hadn't it been made official? Jada, addressing this looming query, revealed an emotional anchor holding her back, a promise made to Will, a vow unbroken and perhaps unbreakable. She was ensnared in a conflict between her oath to Will and the evident dysfunctionality of their union. This paradoxical situation left the public in awe as they grappled to understand the enigma that was their marriage, a concoction of unfulfilled expectations, unmet desires, and an unbroken promise that tethered them amidst the chaos. This public revelation was akin to a dramatic unfolding of events that none had anticipated, a narrative brimming with complexities, inconsistencies, and contradictions that seemed to defy the norms of marital bonds. It was a mesmerizing spectacle for the world, but for Will and Jada, it was a reflection of a tumultuous journey, marked by trials, tribulations, and the unyielding pressure of public expectation. The world watched, speculated, and opined, yet the true essence of their story remained a mystery, ensconced within the intricate dance of their tumultuous, yet unbroken, union. However, it's essential to take a step back because there was a pivotal moment in the interview where Jada addressed an incident that put Will Smith in a controversial light with comedian Chris Rock. The unfolding of events we initially perceived as an act of valor was cast into doubt, complicating and adding an awkward twist to the narrative. The incident in question occurred during the 94th Academy Awards on March 27, 2022. Will Smith, in a moment that captured global attention, struck Chris Rock in response to a joke the comedian made about Jada Pinkett Smith's baldness, a consequence of her medical condition. Yet, Jada's revelation during the interview flipped the script. She recounted her initial disbelief, stating, I thought this is a skit. I was like, there's no way that Will hit him. It wasn't until Will started to walk back to his chair that I even realized it wasn't a skit. The reality of Will's actions hit Jada with a jolt of shock, prompting her to question his well-being as the world watched the incident unfold in real time, bridging the chasm between the privacy of their lives and the global audience. The aftermath of the Oscars incident echoed across social media platforms. Smith, recognizing the gravity of his actions, took to Instagram to address the incident publicly. He described his behavior as unacceptable and inexcusable, admitting to the emotional surge that prompted his reaction to the joke about Jada's medical condition. He extended a public apology to Chris Rock, expressing embarrassment and acknowledging that his actions were a stark deviation from the man he aspired to be. In his message, he emphasized, violence in all forms is poisonous and destructive an admission that resonated with the complexity and contradiction of his actions at the Oscars. His apology extended beyond Chris Rock, 
reaching out to the Academy, the event's producers, attendees, and the global audience that witnessed the incident. The family of tennis prodigies Venus and Serena Williams, and the team behind the film that earned him the Best Actor Award, were also recipients of his regretful acknowledgement. And I was so upset that I had to have a wedding. Yeah. I was so pissed. I really? went crying down the freaking aisle. I'll get married. Get married. Yeah. Cried the whole way. <laughs> I think that's the worst I've ever felt in our marriage. Wow. I was failing miserably. Mm -hmm. But on the outside, I was winning. Like, I was built a house and called the house Her Lake is I remember saying, like, I built this house for you. I called it her lake. And she said, you built this house for you. Yep. And I was like. <laughs> it just wasn't possible. There was no chemistry between us. I just felt like he was off track a little bit. There were different stages in my marriage where Will and I decided we were not together. It was devastating for me to accept that I built the house for me. Yep. Because in my mind, yeah. I was saying I was building it for her, but I wasn't. Yep. Yeah. I wanted this house. Exactly. I called it her lake as an ego cover. Yeah. Right? And Jada was calling me on that. Yep. I really didn't want to get married, but. We only got married because. Gammy was crying. But I just knew, I was like, I never wanted to be married. It Jada was a horrible. <laughs> it, it was a mess. Jada was sick. sick. She yeah, was yeah, very yeah, yeah. unpleasant. Right. <laughs> By the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. That in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was. Where is the respect for a man you walked down the aisle with and pledged your life to? What's the dude's name? August? I know it was the front of friend of your son who's 20 years 20 21 years younger than you what you do is your business any woman out there that wants to be a cougar with a dude of legal age that is your business but the operative words are your business did you have to go and tell everybody give it to yourself <laughs>